take one. <laughs> I took a few electives in art school. Photography really spoke to me as soon as I began the medium in my first semester. I was really, really drawn to it and I enjoyed the sort of slow process of analog photography. I didn't do a lot of like drawing or painting that would sort of directly indicate that I would be a sort of traditional artist. I have always collected objects. The things that I surround myself with are really important to spaces that I occupy. So like my bedroom and my home, my bedroom as a child was a really sort of sacred space to me. Really placing a lot of meaning to the things around me is probably a strong indicator that I would go on to do something at least creative. The way that I work is a lot about arranging objects and those objects then become photographs. And so when I was younger or a teenager or a small child, I'd gather things, pictures and put them on my wall. That process is really similar to the way that I make my work now. So objects become photographs and photographs become objects in their own way. The body of work that I've been working on most recently is all made with light sensitive paper. So they're all durational pieces. They're put up in the studio and changed over time using chemistry that I've made up and traditional photographic chemistry. So really highlighting those parallels between sort of everyday processes and traditional photographic processes and the way that those two things can come together to sort of form this new photography under the contemporary lens. The concept behind this body of work is to highlight the parallels between traditional photographic process and the physicality of making prints in a dark room and highlighting the parallels between that process and washing and laundry and cleaning as a form of nurture. I've been really researching the ways that photographs are made traditionally and looking at the way that I've made prints in the darkroom and really reflecting on the physical elements of that. So washing paper in water and in different chemicals and reflecting on the way that those physical processes can be so easily translated into ritual processes of washing and laundry. These works are made by following the instructions from a 1940s publication called Laundry Work in School and sort of highlighting the way that these housewives were taught to wash their family's clothes.